Hello, uh, today I'd like to talk about this camcorder I bought um, a few months ago now. Let me bring you down if I can. Look in there. Get a bit of a zoom in. Yeah. How's that look? Right. <coughs> Pardon me. Right, this camera I bought last year, um, as I say, it's a professional level, uh, broadcast standard uh, camcorder. Um, uh, it's old technology, this one, it's I think 12 years old, um, it's the HRV. V1 Sony. Uh, it is one of the old tape devices, but before you go running away, there is a workaround. And there's a number of workarounds, some better than others. But, okay, let's talk about why I like the camera. Um, and it's mainly because of all these manual controls and the smoothness it's just the ergonomics of the entire camera basically so um you can see this focusing ring so smooth continuous focusing um so there's no hard stop when you reach the end um it's just that when you reach its maximum distance or closest distance it just stops nice and slowly right there so it doesn't look like you've hit a hard bump um, same with the zoom nice manual zoom ring you can do nice smooth zooms with that um, of course got professional level audio recording um, with XLR inputs, there's two XLR inputs these are the controls here for it now <clears throat> so you're getting all this professional capability yes there's a downside like I say but there is a workaround I'll come to that but you're getting all this professional um, quality and ergonomics built into a camera like this and you can pick this up today for around I think I paid it was under 200 it's under 200 pounds um, and I ended up getting a little bit of money knocked off uh, because basically um, I think it had just been left in a cupboard and the um, the heads needed cleaning and um, we found out that the um, firewire port didn't work now firewire to me normally wouldn't have been a problem because I have a computer just here that takes firewire um, but there's a couple of issues so if you think you're going to work with this because you're still able to handle firewire think again because this is an older firewire um, driver required for this you'll have to go down to at least Windows 7 you have to install the legacy driver and for me I've heard other people manage to get it working like that for me, I couldn't. I had to find another workaround. And I'm glad I did, basically. It would be nice to have had Firewire working, but... Um, there are other workarounds, and that suits me fine. One of the workarounds is to get yourself 
an Atmos Ninja, which is quite expensive, but if you want a professional setup, this will give you 422 color space uh, straight out of the camera. Uh, clean HDMI, so you can record Pro Logic directly with that. Of course, the Atmos Ninjas aren't that cheap. Um, <clears throat> the other workaround, the workaround I'm using at the moment, is just basically a cheap games capture device. Now, you think all this professional uh, quality, and then you're going to capture it all with some cheap games capture but it actually does quite a good job um, you know you're not getting 400 megabits a second or anything out of it but um, you're getting good enough quality for digital media um, so uh, certainly for YouTube is more than adequate um, I'm not sure, I think I'm getting 18 megabits per second on it. Well, you know, for the finished product, by, by the time it goes up to YouTube, gets compressed down, it's down to, I think, about 10 megabits a second anyway. So you're not losing anything there. Uh, I suppose the main reason why people want this, um, all this extra data rate is so that they can do their editing and it gives them more breathing space to work with but those files are, are absolutely massive and and quite frankly my computing uh, I don't have the computing power to be able to handle files that size anyway and it would just be so unpleasant working with that same reason I've not gone with um, with 4k 1080s good enough for what I need. Um, so <clears throat> let's see. Right, these are all your um, control panel for the tape, basically. And what else do we have here? Uh, there's our picture profiles. Uh, HDMI port that does close properly, it's just me. Uh, HDMI port, we've got a USB port, we've also got a card, no, but that is not for I thought, ooh. You can put a card in there, record directly to the card, yeah I wish. Um no you can take photographs with this camera and it will record onto the card and it's also for storing settings so that you can, as I say, as a professional broadcast quality camera so basically if you're set up to do something uh, you store your settings and you have another cameraman that is the other end of the country you can just copy the settings um, straight on onto the card uh, and basically email them off to, to your um, other cameraman who's working somewhere else but not something I'll be using um, now battery life is incredible I think it was coming up with like 400 and odd minutes with one battery these are the larger batteries um, so what does that work out? About four to five hours worth of battery life. And I've got a number of these batteries. <clears throat> um, what else do we have? Of course we have, you know, the um, EVF on the top which I think is absolutely essential and it angles up I talk, spoke about the um, the sound uh, coming in through your XLR, you got two XLR inputs um, let us turn it on and 
see if I can show you anything. Ah, deliberate mistake. I have to open the lens cap. Now, obviously, it's oh, a bit of a shame. Isn't it? Gets dark so early this time of year. Let's see what I am here. Ah, that's the focus run. <laughs> I'll try to zoom. Ah, here you go. There's something. Uh, all the yellow. I'm hoping you can see that. Yellow is the focus peaking. I've got focus peaking on. And I have it assigned to this button. Yes. Got zebras to tell you about the clipping. Um, can't remember what I've got assigned to this. Oh, yeah, that's my digital extender. It's a 1.5 uh, digital extender. And that's the other thing I should say. It's a. Let me just look it up. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, it is a thirty seven point four to seven hundred forty eight millimeter twenty times zoom. So that's perfect for what I want to use it for. I'll be um taking this out and trying to get some uh, wildlife footage uh, so that would be perfect uh, especially with the uh, 1.5 times uh, digital adapter so uh, it is 25p or 50i um, what else we got yeah anyway so yeah like I say the thing I like about the camera is the fact that uh, you got all this professional um, quality ergonomics the ability to do all sorts of wonderful things um, you know going in and out of focus dimming things down with your iris um, you can do all sorts of wonderful things with the camera now what do I do to get my video off you I actually, have, I think I mentioned it, I've, I've got, um, I did mention it, a game, game capture uh, card, and I plug it straight into there with another lead going to the television, and I start playing the tape back, and when I come up to something I think I, I want to uh, keep, then I'll uh, press the button on the capture card, that will record the piece I want um, and then obviously switch it off that way I'm just cutting out the pieces I want to keep uh, and then I reuse the tapes basically so I end up um, with my footage uh, digitally um, uh, like I say so, lovely camera, I like it, um, maybe not for everyone, maybe you can't deal with the, uh, oh, 
And we have these lovely zoom controls. Let's see if you can see these. Well, I've got nothing to zoom it on. We go nice and slow. Slowly zoom in. Can you see? It can come out real quick. So that's the kind of thing you just don't have on consumer level cameras. And then there's another zoom control up on the handle here, which has been, I think I've configured this one to be even slower. So you can get some real precise zooming in control there. And it just gives you that professional quality footage. Uh, I've obviously zoomed in further than I can focus there. And it does have a macro um, capability as well. Uh, and I think that macro capability will take you down to about 2.5 feet um, on the wide end. And uh, I think it was 8 feet on the long end. So it doesn't sound like much macro. But you can also get some filters... And I bought a pack of filters, which will screw directly onto the front of the lens. And I have a macro filter in that, and I've done some pretty interesting stuff with that, actually. And um, I will include some of that footage. I mean, it's, you know, it's not footage to get too excited. It's just out in the garden when I, I was testing it. I, I've not yet had the opportunity to be able to take this out anyway, I've tested it, I've used it, um, I've seen what it can do, I've become familiar with it, but it's basically been, you know, uh, experimental and just around the house and out in the garden basically, but um, I did get some footage that uh, shows the camera to its capabilities and um, that footage is the footage um, that I've extracted via the uh, uh, the game capture device as well. So you can see just how well that turned out. Um, so, like I say, pick this one up. I think you could probably, if you're prepared to hang on um, and keep your eye on eBay, uh, you could probably pick one of these up for around about 150 to 170 pounds, um, probably the same in dollars, I'm not sure, in the States. And if you've already got a game capture device, then you're up and ready to go. And you got um, all this professional ergonomics right at your fingertips and ready to do some fantastic work. You know, match that up with... Um, a fluid head uh, that I have on this I'll just loosen him off a bit and you can get some really nice professional kind of movements uh, just oops, wrong one oh, oh. I um I think I've got the expanded I can't remember which <laughs> function button I put that onto. Oh there it is. You just couldn't see it there where I was pointing to. There. So there's a 1.5 and then we back that. Okay, so um Looking forward to getting some really nice footage with this. So thank you for watching and um, see you on the next one.